Walking in nature can help calm you down. It relieves stress and opens your mind to think more clearly, broadly, and deeply. When you slow your pace, you can contemplate life. When I planned to walk 85 miles through the mountains in Ireland, I invited friends to get out in nature and bring whatever camera they had to record their thoughts on life surprises, having expectations, and finding purpose in life. Here is what happens when you wander on purpose. I'm Amanda and this is my daughter Mackenzie. We're in Swallow Cliffs in Illinois. We're going to talk about oh surprises today. So one of the things that we like to do is um, instead of staying on the main path, um, we like to go off on kind of these smaller ones and we were just on one that uh, we had to backtrack on because it was just some place where the rain goes. <laughs> Anyway. Very eloquent. <laughs> yeah. Um, so one of the reasons I like to take these smaller paths when we're hiking is just because it's a little more quiet and there's not so many people on the path and um, and there are a lot of surprises or a lot of things that um, you don't usually see on the main path which is gravel and it's it, it, actually we're almost we're almost to the main path right now I can see there's like tons of people walking on it. So the smaller paths sometimes just have us and, and our little spray can of mace. So what's a what's kind of a path uh, of surprise you've had lately? Um, well, I mean, as much as I hate eating mushrooms, I like looking at, I like seeing all the crazy looking ones um, and then finding out if they're edible or if they can kill me just in case, you know, I'm out in the woods for some reason and and I really need to eat something. It's it's fun to kind of find things and we find little flowers. Well, when we go off on those other paths too, we see deer. Once in a while we'll come yeah. we'll come up on on deer because yeah. they're snake. deeper in the woods. I, I got to pet a snake today. I, I guess if it's kind of uh, symbolic of something going off on the smaller paths, it's just kind of a good practice, I guess, to, to do that, uh, doing that in my life too, just taking the, you know, the proverbial road less traveled a little bit anyway, getting myself out there and, uh, and being afraid of a lot of things. But also it's, it's pretty exciting uh, to do things that aren't really planned. My name is Aaliyah Carson Latillier, and I'm from Hollywood, California, and I live at San Elmo Village, which is a nonprofit art organization in Los Angeles that has helped me to grow mentally physically and emotionally, all because I was walking here. I walked here with a group that was exploring Los Angeles. I didn't know what to expect. I just went along and thought we would just be walking down streets and they happened to walk in here and I then volunteered and then became a tenant here. I just love it. It's really changed my life and all because of walking. Had I not been on that walk, I would never have discovered this place. That's what I think the best thing about walking is you never know what to expect. There's always something different, always something new to look at, always a new place to see. I've lived here my entire life and never knew this was here, never knew it existed. So there's always little surprises or you see new flower pop up or a house that's being redone. And I just I love that aspect of walking. Always a new surprise. Unexpected things happen all the time. You meet different people, different situations, different places, different people. It's just always something new and interesting happening. I'm definitely someone who likes to plan things, and I don't know if it's the writer in me that I'm always um, putting forth these expectations, thinking about something and thinking, oh, what if this happened? Oh, this could happen, and like putting together like full blown scenarios about what is going to happen, and then sometimes I get. Um, attached to that and saying, oh, that's definitely going to happen. I've been trying to really learn to not, you know, make these grand expectations, just kind of like let life happen and, um, and deal with it as it comes and, and enjoy it as it comes. Because if you put an expectation out there, if it's met, then okay, you're satisfied because exactly what you thought would happen happened. And that's great, but it's not amazing. It's one thing though, I think in your career, maybe because I've been hearing a lot about, um, you know, in the entertainment industry, you know, people saying, no, I'm not going to have a backup plan, like, because then that's going to say that I don't expect this to work out for me. And then you're, you're, you're going to accept that backup plan as your plan. And I think that's kind of an interesting idea and to, and to sort of act 
as if your goal is is going to happen. I want to be a working screenwriter. For me to just say that's that's all I'm going to accept. It's going to happen. But I've heard anyway that I would have a higher probability if I took that approach. But I think in you know other parts of your life, it might be good to not have these expectations to 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 let life surprise you because life is amazing and let it be fun and let it be enjoyable and 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 say yeah like anything could happen because anything happens every day. The idea of uh, finding purpose and giving up worthlessness. It's interesting for me because this whole idea of this project, Wander on Purpose, using that specific word, has actually been a challenge for me this trip because I think I was putting this pressure on making sure that I was thinking about the specific thing the whole time that I'm walking. Then yesterday at the B&B was talking with somebody from the Netherlands and she was saying how you can't think really when you're walking. When you're doing a hike like this and you're going up mountains and you're always watching where you're stepping because you could be you know stepping on a rock, you could be then falling down and today the wind was whipping something fierce and if I did not have my walking sticks I would have blown over. You're just so focused on what you're doing right there in that moment and I thought, yeah, you know, she's absolutely right. But in kind of a roundabout way, it actually came to the purpose. Like the the purpose is to say hiking can help you. Disconnecting from things can just help clear your mind. And that is what was happening. My mind was wandering in a way did lead to what the intention was. I think it does take a couple of days for your body to get into that zone of just, you know, putting one foot in front of the other and you're going, going, going and letting your mind let go of things. We're all created to know and to love. Like how how do you know what the purpose of something is? We have a heart and we have a mind. So those are the two functions as a human. And so if we're doing those things, then we have purpose and everybody's specific purpose is different given wherever they are you know, wherever God puts them in their life, whoever he has them um, interact with. But in general, that's what we are created to do, is to know and to love God. And by knowing and loving his people, that's how we're going to know and love God. So that's our purpose. All right. So asking, have I found my purpose? I don't know. Why does it feel like you're being so self-important if you say, oh yeah, no, I know my purpose. This is my purpose in life. It just sounds like a little pompous to me to be saying oh yeah no my purpose is this because I mean I think we're all still on like a path of discovery and even if you know like what your purpose is and what your calling is and what you want to like you still have to be open to like that changes and that evolves and the way that you're doing it most definitely will always be changing and evolving so there's my little preamble to this answer. I think a lot of my purpose is to spread joy and happiness and to make people think and just spread light. I think there's just, there's a calling for a lot of people right now who are need to lift up the world <laughs> with light because there's a lot of stuff going on. And I do that through comedy and I find meaning through being creative and I find purpose through creating and getting out stories and just putting myself out there. I think I find the most meaning and purpose in creation and it's so lovely to me the way that our whole technological infrastructure has made it so that you can immediately have feedback and people who are impacted by what you do. So like when I put out a video on YouTube, it's like I'm immediately getting comments and you know, sometimes I just get like the nice, I of course get some bad comments, but sometimes I get just the nicest comments from people who've been so impacted and you know, people telling me like I got them through some of the roughest times in their lives or things like that. And it's just like such a good feeling. I do think a lot of my purpose is just to live and to enjoy and to give that joy to others and I I try. (laughs) But you know, when you are frustrated with feeling like you can't accomplish what you want to be accomplishing and you're feeling like, you know, you're not 
doing what your purpose is or you feel like maybe you're misaligned with your purpose I think that's what also puts us in the most distressing circumstances where we do kind of like give in to some sort of despair and we lose kind of some hope and stuff and and I think it's so important to just check in and to make sure that you're you know you're resonating with yourself which again that's being in nature being in nature is a way to really just come to terms with yourself and find your center and stop hearing what everyone else is saying around you in your echo chamber you're living in and to really just to know what you're meant to be and do. I think when you're living in your purpose it really feels just like contentment. It can feel like excitement. It can feel like joy. Just because you know that what you're doing is what you're meant to do and that just adds so much.